Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are fine by the grace of Allah. Today I am here from Lavi and Jaffi Street and today I am here for class 5 English version students. So dear students, today our subject is elementary science and today we will be going through chapter 2 environmental pollution. So students, let's start this chapter. So students, now we are in chapter 2 environmental pollution. So in, the, in this chapter, you, you first you will be able to know about the pollution in our environment, whatever pollution occurs in our environment, what are the causes, sources and what are the effects of environmental pollution and there are different kinds of environmental pollution such as air pollution, water, soil pollution, noise pollution. You can also know the causes and the effects of these pollutions and at last we will be able to know how we can conserve our environment and how we can prevent this kind of pollutions. So now students, let's go through the exercises of this chapter. Elementary Science Class 5 Chapter 2 Environmental Pollution Now students, at first we will be going through some tick marks. Number 1 which one mostly causes air pollution? A. Use of pesticide B. Smoke from industries C. Playing loud music D. Leakage of chemicals The answer will be B. Smoke from industries Second question What is the effect of water pollution? A. Loss of hearing B. Sleep disruption C. Diarrhea D. Decreased soil fertility The answer will be C. Diarrhea Third question which one is the cause of soil pollution? A. Global warming B. Use of machines in agriculture C. Use of pesticides D. Decreased social fertility The answer will be C. Use of pesticides Which one is a good practice for environmental conservation? A. Using non-renewable energy B. Using cars C. Using fossil fuel D. Recycling The answer will be D. Recycling now students, let's go through our next topic, short question answers. Number one, what is the environmental pollution? Answer, environment, our environment changes in many ways. When the changes are harmful to the living things, it is called environmental pollution. Number two, what are the effects of air pollution? Answer, the effects of air pollution are number one, global warming and number two, acid rain. Third question, Write down the ways of environmental pollution. Answer. One of the main causes of environmental risk pollution is industrialization. The use of different fossil fuels like oil, natural gas, coal, etc. to keep the factories functioning is the main cause of environmental pollution. Now students, let's go through our fourth question. What are the sources of environmental pollution? Answer. The main sources of environmental pollution are the burning of fossil fuels, industrialization, population growth, toxic chemical and household waste. Now our fifth question. Write the five ways of environmental conservation. Answer. Five ways of environmental conservation are A. Reducing the using of fossil fuels B. Dumping garbage in the dustbin C. Planting more trees D. Managing Industrial and chemical waste properly e raising public awareness. Now our third topic descriptive question answers. Number one explain the harmful effects of environmental pollution. Answer Environmental pollution causes a great harm to human beings, animals and the environment itself. Human beings are becoming victim to several diseases like cancer, bronchitis, waterborne diseases, skin diseases, etc. The habitats of animals are destroyed, food webs are harmed. As a result, many animals get extinct. Besides, the earth temperature gradually rises. Then, the ice caps of polar region melt and so the sea level rises. Now third, second sorry, second descriptive question. What is noise pollution? What is the harmful effects of noise pollution? Answer. Noise pollution refers to exercise, excessive sound in the environment that harms the health of human beings and animal life. Noise pollution has severe effect on human body and mind. Depression, hearing loss, sleep disruption and loss of productivity are caused by noise pollution. Third question. 
what is environmental conservation how can we conserve our environment answer environmental conservation is a sustainable and wise use and protection of natural environment the steps we can take to conserve our environment are a reducing the use of electricity and fossil fuel b walking or riding a bicycle c planting more trees d dumping waste in the dustbin instead of throwing here and there e refining the industrial and chemical wastes before dumping now our fourth question explain the negative impacts of soil pollution in human health answer soil pollution occurs due to contamination of soil with harmful things soil pollution has negative impacts on human health when crops are grown in the polluted soil the harmful things get into the crops by taking this food people may get sick with various diseases including cancer now our fifth question why does population growth cause environmental pollution answer people use different elements of the environment to meet up the demands of the increased population it results in the change of different elements for example people are cutting down trees to have cultivable land so that they can grow more crops trees are also cut down to make furniture and other necessary things as a result environment is getting polluted Besides, to meet up the demand of food for the increased population, excessive amount of fertilizers and pesticides are being used. These chemicals mixing with the rainwater contaminate the surface water. When population increases, people use more transports and also pollute air. Consequently, environment gets more contaminated. Now, sixth question: How are soil pollution and water pollution alike? Answer. Both soil and water are contaminated by the addition of many harmful things to them. Waste from household and hospitals and chemicals wasted from mills and factories contaminate soil and water. Fertilizers and pesticides in agriculture land get mixed with rainwater and go into the water in rivers and ponds. Thus, the water in rivers and ponds becomes contaminated. So it can be said that soil pollution and water pollution are alike. So students that's all for today hope you like this video our next video will be from chapter 3 water for life you all are invited to watch that video see you soon later assalamu alaikum